Hello, my name is Ben, and I am not a great gamer. Welcome back to the Serene Republic of Venice, here in Stellaris. And uh, it looks like... What was I going to talk about? So, our, uh, our president, our, our democratically elected president, um, makes spaceports and spaceport parts a lot more, uh, a lot less expensive, and he... Everybody wants us to build a whole lot of uh, ships to fulfill our naval capacity um, mandate. Uh, and you know what? Who are we to stand in the way of democracy, right? So we are going to... Uh, we're, we're currently working on that. We're going to build up a bunch of... Build up basically a pretty good fleet. We're, at this point, we only have corvettes. Um, Anomaly found. What did I decide? Oh, yeah, research that. Was a seven percent research? I have no idea what it is. I don't read those half the time now. Um, maybe I should. I don't know. But uh, I think I decided against destroyers, didn't I? Hang on. Uh, what? Hang on. Okay, an unidentified empire declared war on the Beldros Directorate. So the Beldros Directorate, or Beldros Directorate, are these guys over here? The uh, scary dinos? Plutocrat. There are the. Uh, the warrior dinos, that's what we'll call them. The, uh, or dino warriors. Dino warriors, that's what we'll call them. I'm, I've decided I want to, like, rename pretty much everybody. So the dino warriors are, uh, they're in trouble. I don't know what they did. Interesting. Interesting. So that's, that's scary. We've also met Castile and the Iroquois and these complete. other two, uh, bozos. Um, the xenophobic isolationists, what are we going to call them? I don't know what we're going to call them. Uh, the big ears or something, I don't know. Um, and then these guys, the harmonious collective. Oh, interesting. Okay, harmonious collective. So they're fanatic, uh, collectivists and pacifists. Interesting. I don't think I ever really, like, looked at them. They're, um, I don't know. Slug commies, we'll call them. I don't know. Okay. So we've detected an automated money base in close orbit around asteroid BK53PO. There are large chunks of the hull missing. Uh, the jagged holes indi indicative of heavy weapons damage. The station is beyond repair, but salvaging it will provide us with valuable materials. So we just gain a whole bunch of... Wow. Uh, 233 minerals. Interesting. And construction... Oh, spaceport. Venezia. Yeah, boy. Um, yes, our spaceport is male. Yes. Do we want to upgrade? It's gonna take a while. Or do we just keep going with our uh, mandate? We want twenty-two. Uh, we want twenty-two corvettes, basically. We are at eighteen, so let's just uh, let's just queue that up, shall we? And then we'll uh, glow up, go blow up some xenos, some of the local wildlife. Our next uh, expansion is probably going to be up into here, and we definitely want to find a way to pick up Cesar System survey because complete. Batharian Stone and, and uh, Batharian Stone. I don't know if you knew this; it's really, really good, um, and especially for those of us who are really, really good at money. And okay, so here's our science ship. It's it's uh, it's lazy, and something we're gonna do is this. Um, ooh, there's an ocean world down here. It's a t size 22. That's, that's a really good one. Ooh, it's, it's that's a, not a bad system. I would love to forward settle these bad boys. We're we're uh, we're um, rivals with both of these guys. That would be something. So let's. Yeah. Oh yeah. So here's the thing. I um, I specifically wanted my science fleet to be named after uh, famous or at least notable. Italian astronomer types, and uh, I don't know who the heck Calliope is. It went to the uh, generic ship name thing, so we're gonna name this guy the Galilei. Uh, yeah, you're way the heck away from our, our system, and then all of a sudden we're like, you know what? We're not gonna call you Calliope anymore. You're Galilei now, so let's just do that. So let's... Do I wanna go through, or... I'm trying to figure out where to send this guy, and I think I want to make contact with people, so I'm going to actually have him survey this system. So we're going to go 
deep into some what is probably somebody else's territory. I'm guessing this is an empire right there. So we'll see what happens. It'd be interesting if the... Uh... Oh, that's Castile. Oh, okay. Anomaly found. Uh, yeah, research that. It's 15%. What is this? Oh, the Beldross are trying to be friends with us. That's nice. And Anomaly. A 15%? It's... I mean, what are you gonna do, right? This guy's already at, um... He's pretty much maxed out, so... Eh. Okay, don't, don't screw this up. Wilberto. Wilberto Erizzo. And what do you got? While conducting surface scans of Zeobir the F Zeobir 4, science officer Wilberto Erizzo and the crew of Cassini discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. They have not detected any other signs of alien activity on the planet, and exactly how this mural came to be there is a mystery. We have prepared a special project to translate the text. It's a barren world. Interesting. A uh, special project. Situation Hang on. Log updated. Yeah, do this. And then uh, finish your survey. Yeah. Alright. Let's make that happen. Situation log updated. Alright. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Kotair system. Yeah, right there. That's what I thought. Flagged as Kappa aliens, um, so yeah, we'll be we'll be meeting someone soon. We're not going to research them though. We're going to let them research us. Construction complete. That's how this works. What's that? Spaceport of Venezia. Ooh, our capacity just went up again. So let's let's build another Corvette, shall research we? Research complete. Okay, and research complete. We'll we'll do that in a second. Two more ships. Three more ships. Just blind them with corvettes it'll be great and we have torpedoes Ooh. hang on two two things oh new research okay Ooh, armored torpedoes that is expensive though let's not do that let's go geo geothermal fracking i'd love to get some more uh mining network or get some mining network too that would be good but first first things first <sighs> ship designer I think we want another... I think we want a new design of Corvette. We're gonna get us... Actually, hang on. Yeah. Let's, let's put some space torpedoes on. Looks pretty good. Give it, oh no, give it, yeah, ion thrusters, we don't need special, um, was it sensors? We don't need special center sensors. One armor, one deflector, and then probably, like, the rest fission reactors. Is that gonna do it? No, it's not. Whoa. You know what? I don't think they need special thrusters because of the space torpedoes. I can't imagine just not having deflectors though. Or armor. I'd like to have one of each. It's awfully nice to have them. Hmm. Let's see if there's another core. Not really. Not one that I want. The shifter core with just one small weapon slot. That's tough. Let me see here. Damage 5 to 10. It does a lot more damage if it makes it in. You know what? We're going to do that. We're going to make the, this a shifter core. Just one thing as space torpedoes. Just like... Look at that. <laughs> It's just a big old gun. That's what it's got. There you go. And then, uh... And then we can throw on a fission reactor. And a, another medium fission reactor. And then just go armor. Deflectors. Actually, let's do that. Can we... 
No, he can't. Okay. Nah. Ooh, that's... Wow, 12. Minus 7. Hmm. There we go. Okay, so this is an interesting one. Um, it has one space torpedo. That's it. Dang, I'm not sure I like that, though. Not sure I like that. Let's start over. Interceptor. Let's let's try the space torpedo thing again. Uh, level one chemical thrusters. Little armor, little deflector. All the fission reactors. Yeah, still doesn't do it. What happens if we do this? A laser. Do we just go shieldless? I don't think so. Oh, this is rough. Hmm. Note to self, go fusion reactors in here. No, let's do shifter. I hate I hate to do this, but that's that's a rough time. We'll move quickly. So there we go. Two deflectors, armor, and just a torpedo. <laughs> One thing of torpedoes. It'll move relatively quickly, it'll be fine. Not ideal. Now I do, I'm not very, uh, what's the word? I'm not very creative when it comes to my uh, spaceship uh, class names. This is going to be Torpedo Corvette class. Just so I know what the heck that I'm queuing up. So there's that. Okay, so save that. Excellent. Now, Torpedo Corvette class. How many of these are we going to do? Three of them. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to go see what kind of things we can blow up. Yeah, we've had, we have this guy over here. We'll probably, once this guy gets re-elected, or once the next election occurs, that's when we'll send this fleet after him because I think we're gonna lose some, lose some dudes if we're not uh, kind of careful about this. Uh, yeah, it may be time to special project complete. Almost move out my, uh, move out my fleet here. Science offer, officer Wilberto Rizzo has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered in Ziobar the four. Ziobar four. The text contains a staggering amount of data, and the mural evidently serves as some sort of low-tech library. It describes, in broad terms, the collected technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. A lot of it is already known to us, but the data does contain several promising leads for technologies we had yet to discover. There is enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we will need an orbital research facility to continue the translation. Interesting. Good thing you just gained 200 experience, because you are maxed out think. Unless. Yeah, he can't get more experience. Has reached max max skill level. I forgot what our type of leader skill levels plus one. I think I just start at level two. I think that's what happens. They just, our, our folks just start at level two. That's right. Instead of going up to level six, that would be awesome. That'd be kind of OP. But yeah, this, wow. Zero Bear 4. It's a good thing this area, like, we're not really competing with any anybody for this area. We will definitely have to pick that up. So Zero Bear 4, Zero Bear 4 gets uh, plus 2 to each type of science. Excellent work. Good job, Wilberto. And then why don't System you go and survey complete. that? Hustle. Hey, hang on. Hang on. Definitely there is some sort of bird thing over here. Yep, some kind of bird thing. Or at least some kind of thing that I gave a uh, bird, what's it called? I gave uh, the, the bird type ships to. I don't know if it's actually like a bird there though. Yeah, we'll see who's, it's probably whoever's at war with these guys. Research complete. They're at war with somebody. Complete. Research, what do you want? Ooh, gravitic sensors. Oh, survey speed plus 15%. So good. And observatory. I think we 
go observatory. <gasps> oh. But field manipulation. Oh. This is a sad, sad day, but we're gonna go observatory instead of, um, instead of money. Yeah, I think that's how that's gonna go. Orbital sensor arrays. Okay. And I think it may be time to build us... I mean, we don't have the money for it. But it may be time to build us... A colony ship. Or spaceport upgrade. Let's do that first. And then, let's see if uh, this guy is complete. Yeah, let's get us... Solar. Solar panel network. So that'll save us a little bit of money on that guy. Solar panel network here. There we go. Now we're down to 59. Um, 59 minerals. Let's play with the surface of our home world here a little bit. I think we need more, uh, need more science. Oh, we can't yet. There we go. Hang on. Anomaly found. Hang on. Oops, I didn't do that thing right. So basic science lab will build right there because we can. Uh, the Galilei is missing in action. Well, that's too bad. We'll have to deal with that in a second. We have a 0% failure risk. It's a weak signal from the surface of the planet. Okay, yeah, let's let's do it. Zeobeer 7. This is the second anomaly we found in Zeobeer. I just want to point that out. And we are receiving a transmission from the Aztec Empire. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities between us have ceased for the moment. Oh, I didn't realize that we got 46 influence for that. <laughs> First contact with the Aztec Empire. Well met. I represent the Aztec Empire, led by the illustrious Archprophet Moctezuma. We rule our region of space under a divine mandate, and so long as you do not interfere in our spiritual affairs, our relations may remain at cordial. They are slaving despots. Oh, so good. Okay. Um, you know what? Just to be that guy, I'm going to say love is friendship set to music, Aztec. Nice. Oh, golly. They actually... They like us by five. Because we're xenophiles. Oh, because we're both spiritualists and because we're just so darn charismatic. Oh my goodness. And then, uh, oh yeah, and then their thing is, is there something in this for us? Oh, when they're superior to us, I think they got a superior start. They may have gotten an advanced start. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? And then, uh, yeah, my only thing about the, my only thing about the, uh, the bio for these guys is all we know is that the Arch Prophet is coming for you. Um, honestly, I was just a little, I was I was kind of tired, and it was one of the last ones I did, so I feel like being a little easy on it. So, okay, so yeah. Tropical habitability, and um, they're just going to cream the Beldross. Yeah, their fleet power is now pathetic. So the, the Beldross are just going away. Um, if I, yeah. Oh boy. What have I done? What have I done? Oh, science ship Galilei. Yeah, you're missing in action. For a while. Yeah, Zubir, that's gonna be a great, great, great system. A small short range transmitter has been located on the surface of Zubir 7. It appears to be an ancient survey marker placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious precious minerals. Yes! Plus four more Oh my goodness! There's already four um four minerals and two of every science here. There's plus four more minerals. And he hasn't even surveyed the habitable world yet. So good. So good. I'm gonna get my science ship back. Construction complete. Hang on. Oh wow. Um. Interesting. I've never actually had this happen. So our president Enrico Mora has died at the age of 73, which means that mandate is no longer there. Interesting. Oh yeah, we're gonna research space amoeba observation. And we're also gonna do the um, Epsilon aliens. I think they are not a um, an empire, so we'll just do that. 
Okay, so there's an, now an election. And uh, the campaign promises went unfulfilled, which, whatever. Hang on. So, what's the election looking like? Most likely going to be either... An industrial space miner who wants um, off-world mining. Uh, basically, we're, they, somebody wants us to do a lot of off-world mining. Okay. Oh, you better not elect Wilberto Arizo, my level 5 freaking architectural... Hmm. Although, he's charismatic. That's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, we'll see what happens. We're not going to support anybody, because it's dumb. I'm just not. I'm just not. System survey complete. Spaceport of Venezia. Complete. Oh, sweet. We got the upgrade. Yeah. Uh, does that mean we have a colony ship? No, we will soon, though. That's the next thing we're going to build. So, Zero Beer has been done. Construction... Right, surface construction. Excellent. Oh, we can upgrade this. Ooh. Uh, if I'm going to upgrade this to anything, it's going to be uh, physics. We need more physics, like mad. Not that we have that tech yet. We'll get that soon enough, though. So there you go. We should build something. Actually, maybe a colony ship will not be the next thing we build, because we desperately are going to need something else here. Um... I'm going to build a power hub. That's a lot of stuff, though. It's a lot of... Well, the influence is fine. That's a lot of minerals. Yeah. We're going to build a power hub. And then at some point, we're going to replace one of these power plants with Batharian instead. I believe that's what we're going to do. Build us a power hub. Power hub one. Excellent. And we will get the Batharian soon enough. Hang on. Is it time to move our fleet out? I think it may be. Where did our money go? All of a sudden we got a lot of money. Oh, well, we did finish some solar panels. That may have had something to do with it. Okay, so we're waiting for 350. Okay. Fleet, come on out. Clear out that business? No, not yet. Clear out this business. Hang on. Uh, this science ship. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, you're fine. Oh, what was the... Yeah, I think we'll have to clear out Zithri here in a sec. Yeah. Special project Hang complete. On. Situation log Hang updated. On. Okay, new ruler mandate. Hang on. Uh, the space amoeba. Something, something, something fascinating indeed. Oh, evasion plus 5%. Excellent. Good, good, good. Bartolomeo Mosinigo has been elected president of the Serene Republic of, Ven of Venice. Let's check out his... Okay, he has a minor mandate. Building four mining stations. Eh, that might happen. So, we gotta get ourselves a new scientist. Which is fine. Um, statecraft, leader experiencing, experience gain, that's not bad. Or computing. Let's go statecraft, actually. Nicolo Anafesto. And pick him up. Oops. Oh, wow. Oh, that's right, physics research grants. I forgot that we were doing, yeah, physics research grants. Okay. Which is slowing some things down, but that's fine. Okay. Okay, observatories in 24 months. Not bad. Uh, this... This world here. Oh, right, okay. Tropical colonization. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, science ship. Yes. Uh, this science ship. Where do you want to go? Let's have you go... Actually, what's your failure risk on this? 
22%. That's sort of pathetic. I don't really feel like dealing with that. Um, why don't you go on here? Survey this system. There you go. And the second fleet. Why don't you go beat the ever-loving snot out of this guy? Hostile fleet engaged. Now, are we actually doing explosive weapon damage? It looks like we are. Yeah, we are. Are we losing anybody? Situation log. Doesn't updated. look like it. No. Okay. You know what? Actually, uh, science ship. Kennedy. Um, Leonardo Candiano. Come on over here. Research that. Second fleet, take these guys out. Construction complete. Special project complete. Crystalline entities. Um, issue a special project for remote study of the crystals. Okay, we'll do that. In a second. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we lost one. Oh, we lost two, I think. Uh oh. Hostile fleet engaged. And now a second fleet's coming after us. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to, uh... Okay, geothermal fracking is done. Ooh, do we want plasma thrusters? Ooh. Either that or we just go powered exoskeletons. Army damage plus 5%, which is not that great. Or minerals plus 5%, which is not a bad thing. And it's quick. I think we just hit that up. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. And then uh, let's just go straight up. We have the we have the minerals. Let's just go straight up and uh, build us a few more uh, corvettes, shall we? Oh, first things first. Second fleet. Uh, which one do we want to do? Probably the red laser one. Yeah. And then let's watch combat up here. Tough. Man. You want to go after the last one? I don't think so. Well, hmm. Let's go have you repair. That's the nearest one. Oh, okay. But we will have them repair next time. Until then, you know what? So we've uh, we've explored a little bit of the galaxy. We're starting to clear out some of these uh, some of these silly creatures over here who said they could exist. I didn't say they could exist. And uh, we we have we have torpedoes, so we're gonna see what uh, what sort of uh, secrets the uh, crystalline entities hold, and we'll do that. I, I mean, we'll do that next time. But until next time, I enjoyed myself. I hope you enjoyed yourself as well. I do, in fact, look forward to seeing you next time.